Hey, it's Nate Savage here, and hopefully you saw the video I did on five steps to Travis picking. In this video, we're gonna do the sixth step, which you just repeat the sixth step over and over and over and over and over again. And that's a learning song, so I'm gonna teach you how to play Freight Train using the five steps, or the coordination we got from the five steps of that last video. So, it's in the key of C, or at least that's what we'll be playing it in today. And what I'd really recommend doing uh, for the beginning of this is just getting the thumb down. Don't worry about the melody at all. Just concentrate on the thumb, make sure you can do that. And we'll learn the chord voicings we'll be using here as we go through the thumb. So start on a C major and just have your alternating bass starting on the fifth string. So five, four, six. Make sure to come over and grab this G note with your third finger and then back to four. One, two, three, four. And then do it again, one, two, three, four. From there you move to this G7, and this is kind of a nasty chord to have to play here, but it's nice, instead of using this G7, because you have to shift up here anyway for the next little part, to go ahead and just make the shift, bar chord G7, and just have your bass there twice, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And take your time on this, take it one little measure at a time, or one little chord shape at a time. And then after this, the melody goes a little bit around with your pinky, which we'll get to later, but it stays on the G7 for another two measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just alternating bass, starting with E, D, A, D, like that. And then you go back to a C major chord and just get the same exact pattern down there for your C. Twice. From there, go to an E major and play the bass notes twice. And again, I'm just going six, four, five, four, six, four, five, four. And then go to an F, do the exact same thing. Six, four, five, four, six, four, five, four. And to a C, just one measure, and then a G, and then back to a C. So that's what you want to get down first, and if you can't do the alternating bass thing yet, that tells you that you need to go work on the first five steps, more actually the first three steps, and really train your thumb to where you can, it has a mind of its own, it just goes on its own. So let me play the whole thing for you, just the bass notes. So that's ground zero for this. After you have that to where you can play it with no problem, it'll make it much easier to put the melody on top. And you want to learn the melody kind of on its own first, just so you know exactly where everything is. That's both together, but just the melody on top is just third fret of the high E string, open high E string, third fret of the B string, and then your finger is already on the first fret of the B string for that little melody. So. And there are a lot of different variations on the song for the melody. You can kind of do whatever you want. You can syncopate it. Or you can just play straight. Or you can play straight half the time and syncopate it. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Whatever you find easiest at first just to get this going. Or something like that. But that's what you want to do. And probably the hardest part on this for the C chord is keeping that going while your pinky's doing all this other work up here. Slow that down one more time. And then you have to make a big shift up to the G7. And this one is nice because all the melody notes you're holding down with this G7 chord are already there. It's just G, the G string, the high E string, and then the B string. That's the melody note. So all you have to do is go while keeping the while keeping the thumb going. From there you leave your G7 chord on, but you kind of have to manipulate the notes up higher. So you take your pinky off and put it on the fifth fret of the high E string, and your melody note is right there. Next melody note is back to that G7 shape. Then move it down one fret and then take it off to let the note you're holding down with your bar ring out, so. And that's what you have to do while keeping your thumb going here. 
and that was pretty straight, or you can swing it. Something like that. From there you move back to a C chord, and the first melody note here is your index finger on the first fret that's already being held down, and then your pinky grabs the third fret of the high E string, and then the open high E string, so. So memorizing that first will help you when you put the bass in. Now move to an E chord. And that's the melody, I'll play it slower for you. So high E string, and then you have to kind of collapse your index finger over to grab the first fret of that high E string, then open again. And then pinky grabs third fret of the B string. And that's all the melody for the E chord. So you have. And then put the bass with it. From there you move to an F major chord, an F bar chord, and you have, uh, your melody notes are, that's the first of it, and then, so what are we doing there? The um, B string that you're already holding down with your bar is your first melody note. And then you have to flatten out either your third finger or your pinky to hit uh, the third fret of the B string because you have to keep these notes down here fretted because that's where your bass is coming from, so. And then you have this right here. You just let your bar up because you need this open string for your melody with your bass going. After that open string, it's just the G string that you're already fretting with your middle finger right here. So this is probably, to me, the trickiest part um, of getting the melody to ring out because you have that bar chord going on with all that. So slow that way down. It'll come with time, trust me. It's more about patience with this and consistency and practice than it is about you know the difficulty level of the song. From there, go to a C, and your melody notes are the open G string and the high E string. So you need to remember this is the measure you only have one measure of C. So those are your two notes. And then you move to a G, and your melody notes here are the open high E string. And you're gonna have your pinky already planted on the third fret of the B string. And then to a C. The last melody note is just the C there on the first fret of the B string. So let me play this section by section for you just so you get an idea of how it sounds slowly. And then I'll show you how it sounds all together. So, C. Then move to the G7. Then the little like G add nine there or G nine. Back to the C. To the E. F. Then to the C. Then to the G. To see. And here's how it will sound all together. So I know that's a lot to take in, but if you follow the five steps we did in that other video and work on them for a long time, it's more about patience and consistency again than it is the actual uh, level of difficulty, then you will be able to start learning songs like this. And the more time you spend on those fundamentals, the easier it will be when you start to tackle songs like this one. Let me know in the comments below what is the one biggest finger style song that you want to learn on the guitar. See ya.